I'm live. I think I'm live. Hi, everybody. Hey, let's see who's here. Lisa, Kim, Cynthia. Oh, Sean. Patricia. Betty. Do, 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 do. Gloria, Judith. Hello, everybody. Okay, so Abundant Beauty, Decorative Masks. They're fun. They're fun. But I want to show you something first from last week. So I've gotten in A Walk in the Forest. And where did I put the other one? Oh, yeah. And this is the Bears. Berry Christmas. So the Bear Punch cuts out this bear here and this bear on that paper. The trees dies from the other set, cut these. And they also, I think, I think maybe, um, no, no, not me. It's, it's the bears. Might one of the small ones might. I should have measured. I didn't, but look how pretty. Look how pretty this paper is. Love it. Love it. Yeah, I think these are, are skinnier, but they're easy to cut. I'll be cutting a lot of these out. I mean, look at them. To waste them on a background? I don't think so. I think they're going to go great on other things. So that's to come. That's to come. But let's get messy. Oh, I just dropped my rag, which I'm going to need. Now, if I say stencils for masks, it's because that's what I'm used to. I, I think only Stampin' Up! calls them masks. So, there's the leaves. <clears throat> there's the snowflakes. Then there's this design which I did use. And then there's the flowers, which are one, two, three, four stencils, <laughs> masks. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're first going to use the snowflakes. So I also used, of course, you know, I always bring other stuff in. Deckled circles. Um, on the first card, I also use this die here for the snowman. We don't have a snowman in the catalog this year. What? Nested Essentials. Oh, yeah, and I think I used for little pieces here and there um, some of these. Like, yeah, the snowman eyes. I use that. And then I use this for his mouth. And then this piece right here for his nose. But I did a little trimming. Had to do a little surgery. Okay, so the leaves, these are just a couple I played with. Um, the one I do with the leaves is going to be similar to that. But that's like for a, a one color background, even though my thing was a little dirty. And then you can play with different colors. Let's see what else. Uh, Tis the season from that. Um, hope it, Hope you're feeling better soon. So sincere. Um, and so thankful for you. And then happy, happiest of birthdays I used on there. Okay. So we got that out of the way. But they are written. I didn't print out my thing, so... I may get a little confused, but, you know, I do that anyway. So card number one is the snowman. Because we don't have a snowman. Now, if you remember last week, I pulled this out and there was a big stain over here. So I covered him up with a snowman. So it might be a little different tonight. <clears throat> we'll see. I didn't cut anything for the sentiment. You know how that goes. I hate not having my printout. 
but so that's like the snow for the bottom here's the three pieces and it's next to let's see not the smallest one but it's two three and four the smallest one i didn't use for this So I just take it, I mean, you can tape that down, but I put this over that, and then I do take, and I'm a slob, so I do it right on my desk. I do have a special mat for it, but you know what? <laughs> I should, like, get rid of all these little gadgets I bought. So we're just going to hold it down a little bit. And then we're going to take. What? I didn't pull it out. What? I have like 11 inks out here and not this one. So, okay. So, balmy blue. Let's get rid of my mouse. We don't need it squeaking about. And then I tap a little off. You can always pick that back up. So very simple. You really want to see the flowers. <clears throat> like if you don't know how to do this, you're a loser. Uh, just kidding. Ta-da! Ta-da! All right, we'll save that. I'm going to try and be a little neat tonight. Just a little. Now, I got to tell you, the one with the leaves, like you can't just rub like this because it's got these little pieces that, uh, as a stencil, I'm not so thrilled about it, but you, you just have to be more careful with it. Okay. Almost lost that. So we're going to decide where we want our snowman. And I also thought of, like, you can cut a little piece in there and tuck it in. But this is a card that really um, kids can do because you're just lining it up. The hat was one inch by, mm, mm, so much easier when I print out my thing, one by seven eighths and then a little quarter of an inch strip which we're going to glue on to there and then cut so glue maybe we should keep it long yeah i don't think so Come on, Gail. Okay, so that's ready. Snowman hat. So we may as well assemble it. again. I'm tightening. Because it can't be me, 
right. Oh, now it doesn't want to move. Alrighty. So we have that one piece. I want to try and get in the second arm. So then there's this piece. I think it's three and three quarters oops, by one and a half. But I'm just going to take it and you fake it. You just, I mean, we have dyes that do this, but for this, you don't, you don't need that. Put a little blue ink on there. You can even give it a little like, swipe. I mean, if I really wanted to be fancy, I would do it with um, a sponge and glycerin. But we want it to be easy, fast, and just nice. Oh. I didn't want to totally glue that yet because we want to stick our bottom piece in. We also want to put glue on it first. <laughs> it's going to be one of those nights. One of those nights. Okay, I hope I'm going to have room for the saying. Yeah, well, we'll put it right up there. Isn't he cute already? Fingers work. Okay, so I took and trimmed off. That we're going to trim off a little more from that side. So now he's going to have two arms like he should. Come on, Gail. Gail, you got this. Yeah, bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye. But one arm can go up. Nah, I don't like that. All right, it's going to go down. We'll trim his fingers, maybe. And then we'll glue the snowball. I think I'm making this harder than it really is. It's going to fit on the fit. All right. So I'm going to trim off just a little bit of what might be his finger. Look at that. I didn't put that on too even either. Then we're going to make them purdy. All 
All right, black ink. And it's a little cockeyed. All right, so then I got all these little goodies. That's his mouth. Now I might use black, like not use that for his buttons and use something else. Put his eyes on. You dirty dog. Okay. So then we did a little surgery on this. So this would be the end of the carrot right there. And then I kind of round it off the edge just a little bit. So just that little bit of surgery. Don't fall. Thank you very much. Give him a little crooked mouth. Up. And hopefully that little glue spot's gonna. And I just slathered it with glue. You can use blue dots. Ooh, I think I like that side better. So I think, I think I pulled them out. So I have some of these little retired I couldn't have three of the same size. We could have used these for the eyes also. So, the other thing I did was, yep, 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 yep. Some Wink Estella. And you don't have to do this evenly because it'll look more like snow. It's glistening. So good for the globs. It's good. Okay, then um, I got to fix that. I'm going to end up putting like a tag there. So you can take the chalk marker or a gel pen. Yeah, it's going to be a gel pen.
put some shading. Just for a little highlight. And then of these. Hmm. Now the other one I used something different, but I said, oh, look what I got. Let's use some of them. So there he is, all dressed up, little snowman guy. That's card number one. You like, you like? You screwed up the shading part. No, you didn't. You'll do it fine. If it gets too dark, because you don't want it to be that gel pen, so you're, you're wiping it anyway. Card number two. Got to move things around so these don't get dirty. So this was the one I posted the other day. Let's get rid of some of this mess. So we'll get the inside in. So there's two cards with the flower. We'll be here for hours. And then that's going to only wrap around the front. So I can put this on and then put it out of the way. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Come on, Gail. Think it's easy to be me? It's not easy to be me. Okay, so you would think you do the background first, but no. No, 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 no. So these masks, stencils, they have that little thing so you know which, which way. Now, you can do it that way. You're going to start with your flower because that's like the biggest one. So if your little notch is on the left, you're going to stay on the left. On this particular card, I went backwards. So I think they're actually numbered. So there's a, a one on that one. But I used it backwards because I wanted that little one there. Why? I don't know. So again, I'm just going to tape it down. And I lost one of them. I have that fancy thing with the magnets and the metal thing, and it's too much to keep track of. All right, so I'm using crushed curry. So, I want it darker in, in some spots. So, you see how, like, close to the base, it's getting dark there. And then if you stay in one spot and kind of come down across this way, then come down this way, 
you're going to get those darker areas. Same thing on that. Oops, I didn't want to do the tips. You see how that... So, I'm kind of lifting. And then you can lightly go over. Sorry. So you can always go back. Just to get your lights and darks. So now when I pick that up, See how you have the lights and the darks. Okay, so this one would be number three. <laughs> number four. Really? I didn't do it that way. Okay. That's fine. You could do it any way you want. But I'll do their number two first. Because that's what they said. Now, seriously, if you wanted to get more of it in, you could move it and not have to. Um, you can make, make a little notch there with a pencil, you know, above, so you're on the same exact spot, but I didn't do that. It's, like, really not necessary on this one. So, uh, Garden Green? No, I used Lost Lagoon. I think we'll sure find out, won't we? And the same thing where you, I didn't tape that down, did I? Like if you want a little bit more shading. Now the other thing you can also do is use um, pencils after or your blends to make some highlights. I would say colored pencils would be the best. But totally not necessary. I lost the rag. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. This is a different one. Okay, this one says three. So our notch was that way. And for this one... I have lost my brush. I use pecan pie. Pecan. Because you know where a pecan goes. All right, so for this one. Fill in the circle. Simple as that. Then 
this last one. Early Espresso. Espresso. It's not cooperating. So you totally could have done the flower and then done the leaves. Like it really doesn't doesn't matter. The one the one matters. Flower has to be the one. And the two inside pieces. Uh, that side. I need my spray. Because we're going to come back in a couple minutes and use this again. Now that other flower actually is a real flower and has a name to it, but I forgot. My friend posted it the other night, and I said, Oh, I'm going to make that flower. Okay, so then I took this one with the blue and very carefully... So it doesn't matter if you go over the green a little bit. And I hit the, the yellow. And you can use a smaller brush. Like I have these things too. These, these are like makeup brushes. So if you wanted to use something like that to get into the... Okay, are we ready? I guess we are now. I missed up here. So there's that. I went a little bit too far there. But when it's all said and done, it, it doesn't show so much. Okay, so from there, all oh, the dogs. Oh, oh, I don't know what I did with that other ribbon. That's for the other one. And it's definitely not going to match that one. I got it. I got it. Okay, so I just took this, cut a piece, and just put a little tape on the back. And this isn't like real um, sticky, sticky tape, but it'll work because it's the first thing I saw. <laughs> I 
it's sticky enough, it's staying right there. So this one says, feeling better. I have a mess on my desk. Early espresso. I have a mess on my desk. Hope you're feeling better soon. It's so dark it looks black, but it lightens up a little bit. And then I took a little brown. And then I took a little yellow. You can go over there. You, my dear, can get glued. It's not going anywhere. That is going to get popped up. Turn down my I think I just got that wet wipe in my eye. That's going to go right there. And then you just slide a piece in here. It's just a fake bow. Hi, Marie. Hi, Anna. Heather. Only six dimensions.
Okay, am I back on? Am I back? Am I back? Am I back? Oof. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Okay. Ooh, I think I need a sip of the bottle. All right. Yeah, that was crazy. Just this end of the house, not the rest. So I don't understand what happened. Okay, so where was I? Let's put a few of these on. You don't want to know what my mouth said when that happened. <laughs> it wasn't nice. Okay. So, card number two. Oof. And look at the time. Oh, well, guess I got to end it. No, we'll keep going. All right. Card number three is this one. Told you we'd be here for hours. So this was out of DSP. It's the um, masterfully made. Like all these wacky colors. It really did work for that. That's for the inside. Worry about that later. All right, let's get this part done. Oh, my vape. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. Like when you go to clean it, like I already bent that one and that one. So, yeah, there's that. But. I mean, you really can, if they break, then you can just, you know, draw them in with a marker. If you really need them. I mean, you're really only using this for a background piece. Okay, so for this, I'm all cockeyed. It doesn't really matter because it is a background piece. Up. Up and away in my beautiful, my beautiful. All right, so we're going to take a little green and we're going to throw that in. Yeah, I guess I got to. And it really doesn't matter. Like I just grabbed old olive. I didn't clean this before. I grabbed the other one. Because some of your colors are going to blend anyway. But I kind of just can always go back. A little orange. Pumpkin pie. Now, if you blend too much on your green and orange, it's going to turn like brown, but that's okay too. We're going to do a little crushed curry. A 
I'm going to grab back the orange and do a little Cajun craze. Very inky. So I don't look, look at all that coming off. So you can also, you know how we've done like the ink on a, a piece of, mm, you could do it on napkin on anything. And you can do a sponge and just sponge your different colors in and it would go a little faster than this. You can also, I'm not going to worry about it this time, but you can go into where these like egg corns are and do just like say the egg corns with your markers. something else I'm like leaving out of this I don't know maybe a little bit more green let's do a little granny apple hey don't be wise guy So now we're in the blending. Let's see how it looks. Ooh, I like it. I'll clean that better later. I'm not going to worry about those. If I need more, I'll use more. I can't believe the electric popped off like that. Parts of the city were out of electric. Mine kept popping in and out all day. It would just flash, flash, flash. Okay, so from here, it's really simple. We're going to take this, and this is on very vanilla, because when I did it on white, unless you take another, like, Maybe lemon lolly or something and like go over the background. It was just, I don't know, too stark. So that's lemon lolly. Cajun the craze. Old olive. And I got two just in case. So thankful for you in the Cajun. And then I'll just do it down here. Mm 
I just don't want it to get on the card base. Okay, we're good. I guess this would be a good time to glue the inside in. And I didn't worry about poking each one of these inside pieces out. Although they're coming out when the glue touches them. I'm just kind of more doing like this down the center of it. and where there's bigger spots. And that's gonna go like that, like that. And you can kind of push this one around a little. What a dummy! What a dummy! Okay. Uh, I put them over here. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. There you go. No saggy bits. Hmm. 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 I don't know if I can cut that section out. I don't know how to edit like right on YouTube. I only know how to take it into another program. And then that would screw everything up. So I'll put a message on there. Fast forward through the blackout. Uh, so thankful for you. So a nice fall card. And yeah, we'll use these again. Let's use that one. Uh, where to go? That's good enough for me. There it is. Okay. Now for the last one. Just wondering if those could. So we're going to do these again. Things are falling. I guess I filed my nail before. Yeah. All right, let's get this out of the way. I can remember what this flower had a name to it. Right, 
I'll put that to the side. Hang on to that. So again, we're going to start and this time I am doing it on that side. Huh? All right, so I started out with a little berry burst. So I'm going to just clean this a little bit. I forgot to do that. Oh, it doesn't matter. No, it would be pretty just like that. But now we bring in the Blackberry Bliss, which is gone, but not forgotten. Oh, it's gone, gone. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's right there in front of me. I thought it was the early espresso. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to take this dark. So this is where you might want to use like a smaller brush, but I'm going to fake it. So we don't need that one. I'm going to put it over there instead of cleaning it. Okay, now we're going to go for this one. So again, we used it on the left. So we're going to take some blue in the center. And then I'm going to do the blue again.
No. No, you weren't supposed to move on me. Get back. This is a very lightweight tape, so... And I'm a klutz, but that's besides the point. Ooh, get back. Now, you probably can't ooh, see it, but there's a tinge there. Yeah, Gail, how'd you do that? Oh, you tilted it. All right, no big deal. No big deal. Okay, now we're going to take this one. So, again with the blue, but I think I'm going to use And I'm not doing this line that's there. And I'm not, like even though it's hitting some of those dots, I'm not concentrating on the dots. Now, if that's not dark enough to where you see the blue, then take a little night of navy. So this is the Orchid Oasis is like a more purple. But you just want to see some definition when it's finished. And I hope you'll be able to see it. Get back there. We're going to see the dots, too, which is fine. Which is, ooh, fine. Maybe I'll do that. I don't remember if I did on the other one. Okay, then I'm coming back to this one. That's why that like curve line doesn't matter because you go over it again with this. Let me move all these out of the way. Now we're going to come in with the leaves. Garden green. Now, whatever I did in this one, you can see 
the blue. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see it better. No, I see it. Like when you're right in front of it, you see it. There it is. But we're not done yet. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's right in front of me there. Okay, so a gel pen. And for whatever reason, these highlights make a whole flower. Now, I was also thinking you could take a little circle cut out and put it in there to give it a little bit more. Like a quarter inch. You could even go all the way. Like, I only did the top. Let's see. Some of this one's going to get... But you can go all around. I don't know if you're really seeing what I'm doing. But I'm just making little dots with the gel pen. And they're not turning out like pure white because this is, this ink like moves. Because you can watercolor, it's water soluble. Okay, so if you look at it now, you can see that it has highlights. All right, so then I'm going to do the Susie trick. And I've done splatter with other things. I'm always afraid of killing my... That's why I usually do it different ways. Getting braver in my old age. But I think the black one you can buy separate. So if I ruin it, <laughs> keep one for splattering, one for coloring with. A little bit more over there. I do like the other thing when I when I tap because it gives you bigger bigger and smaller ones. I still like some more over there. It's all right. Okay, so on this one I had some of this old, but I don't like the way it popped up, and it needed more contrast. So I used a little of this, but I think this time I'm going to use more of this and none of the other. And we'll see how it turns out. So probably about three of these. I still have a couple rolls of these. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Okay. So what I just do with my... You know, I'm ridiculous. Just ridiculous. So... I'm going to take the ends and open them up. And then I'll trim off what I don't need. Stab yourself. Yeah, stab yourself. Why don't you?
I think what I should have done was put them down, put my thing down, and then trim and do it on there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these down. I'm going to do my thing. Let's use the better tape this time. Because I'm thinking I'm doing that and I'm probably going to have to cut part of it off. Whew. All right. Happiest of birthdays. It's here. It's here. I have made a mess in my desk. So yeah, yeah, we're going to put more of these. So I almost have everything cut for the sets to either purchase for the card class this month or with your $50 order. I have a bunch of them cut. Whoa. Card class to go. Yeah, that side's going to... Oh, oh, oh. Don't want to forget that. And of course, I can't put it down because I already put that stuff on it. So just in case, let's put a little glue on those. <laughs> and then glue it upside down. This is going to go on to Blackberry Bliss. All right, so I'm going to trim that. I'm going to trim that. Yeah, much easier. Might have to trim a little bit more off of that. Not much. And then I had these retired ones, which kind of give the red and the green and It went flying.
It's pizzazzy, so we'll give it a couple more. So there's card number four. Let's move this stuff away. Now these get over. Like, they got it really need to be clean, but I'm just going to put them out of the way. And... really time to change my contact paper again. One, two, three, and four. So there's some cards that can be made with the decorative masks. Oh, let's do that. So thanks, everybody, for being here and putting up with <laughs> me and my electric going out. That was fun. So I will see you again next Sunday. September, I'm going to come back on Wednesdays and Sundays. But for now, just Sunday. So I will see you next Sunday with you know my motto. I don't know what. But it'll be something. See you all then. Good night. Love y'all.